Hello learners! Don't you know that baking is an art and science? Well, let's explore to the wonderful world of bread and pastry production. I am Teacher Caroline, your guide in this wonderful journey of bread and pastry production. Have you ever encountered your baked goods collapsed after being taken out of the oven? Well, it's time to learn for an oven temperature guidelines. So, join me and enjoy our today's lesson. Also, kindly prepare your activity notes and your pen. So, let's get started! But today's topic is selecting required oven temperature. This will be our objectives for today. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Number 1. Identify the stages of oven temperature. Number 2. Discuss the temperature ranges in bakery products. Number 3. Select required oven temperature to bake goods in accordance with the desired characteristics and standard recipe specifications. If you are ready for our lesson, let us have a short activity. The Let's Try part. Identify the correct answer by choosing from the given choices. Write your answer in your activity notebook. You have 5 seconds to answer each item. And when you hear this sound, that means your time is up. So, let's get started. Here is the first question. What term refers to the causes of physical transitions and chemical reactions to take place in the dough or butter? A. Automatically B. Manually C. Oven D. Oven temperature Time is up! If your answer is letter D, you are correct! Now, let's go to question number 2. Which of the oven temperature states the killing of yeast cells at 50 to 60 degrees centigrade or 122 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit? A. Color transformation B. Development C. Drying. D. Reduction of dough. Time is up! If your answer is letter B, you are correct. Now, let's proceed to question number 3. What oven temperature states states that the product undergoes a series of irreversible chemical and physical transformations. A. Color transformation. B. Development. C. Drying. D. Reduction of dough. Time is up! If your answer is letter D, you are correct! Now, let's move on to question number 4. Which of the oven temperature that readily absorbs the heat from the energy sources? A. Color transformation B. Development C. Drying D. Oven spring Time is up! If your answer is letter A, you are correct! Now, let's move to question number 5. What term refers to the temperature sensor, senses, measures, and transmits the temperature 
of the air inside the baking chamber? A. Automatically B. Manually C. Oven spring D. Reduction of dough Time is up! If your answer is letter A, you are correct! So, what's your score? Did you get a perfect score? If yes, very good! If not, we can still do on our next activity. Alright, let us now explore and discover on how to select required oven temperature. This video deals on how to select required oven temperature. Well, it's time for oven temperature guidelines, not only for home cooks, but for everyone using an oven. Oven temperature is one of the key baking parameters. It can be measured, modified, and controlled to influence process conditions directly, thereby affecting a product's final characteristics. Importance of oven temperature. Oven temperature causes physical transitions and chemical reactions to take place in the dough or batter. Stages of oven temperature. Dependent and sequential transformation of bread dough. We have number one, development, also known as oven spring. In this stage, the product undergoes a series of irreversible chemical and physical transformations. Number two, drying. Reduction of dough or butter moisture. Under the action of the heat transfer mechanisms, high temperatures develop inside the baking chamber from 200 degrees to 300 degrees centigrade or 390 to 570 degrees Fahrenheit. And water molecules at the dough surface absorb latent heat and start to evaporate. Number three, Color transformation. The external surface of the product is exposed directly to the high temperatures of the oven and readily absorbs the heat from the energy sources. These high temperatures trigger non-enzymatic reactions that give rise to the desirable brown crusts. Controlling oven temperature. We have two means on how to control oven temperature. We have number one, automatically, and number two, manually. Now what's automatically? Temperature sensor senses, measures, and transmits the temperature of the air inside the baking chamber. Number two, manually. Dough pieces of bake into the oven where heat from the energy sources is used to bring the products to the required temperature for them to cook and dry. So, we have the basic rules for baking. Always preheat the oven that required temperature for at least 10 to 15 minutes before baking to make sure that the oven has reached the desired temperature when you place the baking pans or pastries in it. Always position the baking pan so that it's placed at the center of the oven. If the pan you're using is larger and taller, you need to lower the rack by one or two levels to make sure the pan is always positioned at the center. Always bake with both top and bottom heat. It allows the temperature to be evenly distributed to all sides around the pan. Some issues of ovens. Incorrect temperature. The real temperature in the oven may be higher or lower than the temperature shown in the setting control knob. Top and bottom heat is not equally diffused. The top heat may be hotter 
than the bottom heat and vice versa. Heat is not evenly distributed inside the oven. Some spots, such as oven corners, may be hotter than others. Let's proceed to the most crucial factors in baking. If either the oven temperature or top heat is too high, the cake will rise very rapidly, especially foam cakes such as sponge cake or chiffon cake. If the cake rises too fast, the inner texture usually is yet to form and reach a stable enough point. If the temperature is too low, lack of inner heat distribution will likely prevent the cake from rising properly. Alright, here's our oven temperature. We have first column, types of product. Second column, oven temperature. Third column, baking time. For types of product, number one, piece of bread. We have different kinds of bread. A. Biscuits, 425 degrees Fahrenheit to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Baking time is 10 to 15 minutes. For cornbread, we have 400 degrees Fahrenheit to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Baking time is 30 to 40 minutes. For muffins, we have 400 degrees Fahrenheit to 425 degrees Fahrenheit with 20 to 25 minutes. For quick loaf bread, we have 350 degrees Fahrenheit to 375 degrees Fahrenheit with 1 to 1 and 1 fourth hour baking time. For yeast bread, we have 400 degrees Fahrenheit and our baking time is 30 to 40 minutes. Let's proceed to cookies. We have different kinds of cookies. We have number one, drop cookies. For temperature is 350 degrees Fahrenheit to 400 degrees Fahrenheit with 8 to 15 minutes baking time. For gold cookies, we have 375 degrees Fahrenheit with a baking time of 8 to 10 minutes. To fully engage ourselves in this lesson, let us do this activity. Let's practice activity. Directions. Identify the different stages of oven temperature. Choose your answer from the word bank. Write the letter of your answer in your activity notebook. You will be given 40 seconds in this activity. And these are the choices. A. Development B. Drying C. Color formation D. Automatically E. Manually Number 1. Sugar caramelized at 160 degrees centigrade or 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Number two, determines color and flavor. Number three, under the action of the heat transfer mechanisms. Number four, a water before pressure gradient is created. Number five, killing of yeast cells at 50 to 60 degrees centigrade or 122 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Number six, Maximum enzymatic activity at 60 degrees centigrade or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And here is the correct answer. Number one, C. Number two, C. Number three, B. Number four, B. Number five, A. And number six, A. Let's proceed to our next activity. Directions. Fill in the table that corresponds to the temperature of the given pictures. Write your answer in your activity notebook. You are given 40 seconds in this activity. Number one, 
biscuits. Number two, rolled cookies. Number three, muffins. Number four, quick loaf bread. Number five, yeast bread. And number six, drop cookies. 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Here is the correct answer. So, what's your score? Did you get a perfect score? If yes, very good. If not, we can still do on our next activity. Let's try to practice more by answering this. Let's do more activity. Directions. Draw a circle if the statement is true and a square if the statement is false. Write your answer in your activity notebook. You are given 40 seconds in this activity. Number one, oven temperature is one of the key baking parameters. Number two, development states of oven temperature is also known as oven spring. Number three, control of oven temperature can only be achieved manually. Number four, always preheat the oven at the required temperature for at least 10 to 15 minutes before baking. Number five, darker pans transmit heat more quickly than those of lighter color. 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And here is the correct answer. Let's proceed to our next activity. Directions. Select the required oven temperature of the baked products from the box. Write your answer in your activity notebook. You are given 40 seconds in this activity. And here's the choices. Number one, biscuit. Number two, yeast bread. Number three, quick loaf breads. Number four, Roll cookies number five, drop cookies. 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And here is the answer. We are now done explaining all the informations that you need to know. Let us proceed in synthesizing our lesson. For your activity, think and share directions. Answer this question in your activity notebook. You're given 40 seconds in your activity. What are the three important words that you learned from the temperature ranges in bakery products and why? 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 
23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All right, as we end our lesson, we need to test your skills if we have readily attained our learning objectives for today. Let us now have our assessment. As I flash the question, choose the correct answer from the given choices. Write your answer in your activity notebook. Here is the first question. Number one, what term refers to the causes of physical transitions and chemical reactions to take place in the dough or butter? A. Automatically B. Manually C. Oven D. Oven temperature Number two, which of the oven temperature states the killing of yeast cells at 50 to 60 degrees centigrade or 122 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. A. Color transformation. B. Development. C. Drying. D. Reduction of dough. Number three. What oven temperature states states that the product undergoes a series of irreversible chemical and physical transformations? A. Color transformation. B. Development. C. Drying D. Reduction of dough Question number 4 Which of the oven temperature that readily absorbs the heat from the energy sources? A. Color transformation B. Development C. Drying D. Oven spring Question number 5 What term refers to the temperature sensor senses measures and transmits the temperature of the air inside the baking chamber a automatically b manually c oven spring d reduction of dough let's check your answers for number one d number two b number three b number four a number five a I hope that you get a perfect score as you gained knowledge from our lesson for today. Congratulations everyone! You were able to answer the tasks in our lesson for today. If you have questions and clarifications, you may watch and review your video lesson or you may ask assistance from your teacher. Once again, I am teacher Caroline Bitan Husay your baking partner. See you next episode for another full of exciting and interesting topics in the world of bread and pastry production. Keep safe, God bless, and see ya!